This is David Pasco. David is 61 years old, but his body is much younger. If you compare the health of his body to the average 38 year old, you will see no difference. So even though David spent 61 years on this earth, he only aged 38 years. As amazing as this sounds, he got 23 years for free. David is part of a small group of people who call themselves longevity athletes and compete against each other for who ages the slowest. For now, nobody has found a way to completely stop aging. But what these longevity athletes do is slow the aging process. And it is working. Another famous longevity athlete, Brian Johnson, is famous for saying that for every year, while normal people age 12 months, he ages only 8 months and gets September, October, November and December for free. Ryan is a 400 million dollar tech mogul that spends 2 million dollars a year on his health while notably maintaining a 4 month perfect sleep score while going through a divorce. There's one man is using his life as a science experiment to see just how long he can live and we're not talking about just making a hundred, we're talking about like 140, The sense of humor is unchallenged. Ryan regularly jokes about being a vampire that drinks his son's blood to stay young. Is this the dude that's obsessed with his son? Yes. So far, yes. And something to do with blood. Yes. Uh, my son's in a cage, 10 by 10. He gets out in the yard, 15 minutes a day. I harvest his plasma. Uh, one good reason to have kids. And half-jokingly requires potential girlfriends to eat dinner at 11 a.m. In more serious terms, his closest companions are his son Talmud and his father <laughs> Richard. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> <Yeah. call Talmud. laughs> love you, Dad. Yeah, love you. What a great experience. When we got back in the. Look at that stud walking off in the distance. He must feel good with his new plasma. On the other side, we have Dave. Former systems engineer that spends around 30 to 40k a year on his health protocol. Dave is a single guy that has never had kids of his own, but finds companionship in his church community and his faith in God. Dave is not as known as Brian, but I really enjoyed reading through his website, where he answers all kinds of questions about himself. Seems like a down-to-earth, likable guy. Both men are very interesting, and we will discuss more about their personal lives at a later point. But first, let's compare Brian's and Dave's daily morning routines. Brian's anti-aging strategy is aimed at every part of his body. It's a mixture of quality sleep, intermittent fasting, light therapy, a vegan diet, some 100 magic pills, and an intense morning workout. Brian's day starts between 4.30 and 6 a.m. The time is not fixed because Brian sleeps until his body wakes up naturally. He avoids using an alarm because as you definitely know, alarms suck and don't let your body recover completely. For various therapies we're doing, if the first thing Brian does in the morning is taking the temperature of his inner ear. If his body temperature is different than normal, he knows that he has been doing something wrong. Next, Brian absorbs a dosage of light, like a sponge to signal to his body that the dye has started. After that, Brian swallows iron and vitamin C pills with some water because his blood tests show that his iron and vitamin C levels are borderline. However, that is different for every person. You shouldn't take those pills unless you have tested your blood and know that you need them. Next, Brian steps on a really expensive scale that measures weight, BMI, fat, muscle, visceral fat, water, bone, heart rate, and the air quality of the room. Crazy how a scale can measure all that from only touching the sole of your feet. Brian's scale costs 179 euros and 95 cents. Five minutes and it's also a nice time to do 
a little meditation. I'll focus on my this stylish helmet is valued at $1,795. Ryan meditates for about 10 minutes. Routine lately is I do a, a meditation before I start this, this portion of my morning routine, about 10 minutes or so, and I've really started to enjoy it. I've learned a few different meditation techniques, but yeah, I, I do this for about 10 minutes. It helps me uh, really settle myself as I get ready to go throughout the routine. After that, he uses a device that vibrates around his nose so fast that he automatically starts to cry a little bit. This is to lubricate his dry eyes. As we age, and especially people who work office jobs, staring at screens, the eyes become dry, and this can worsen our vision. Thomas Anderson? Yeah, that's me. Moving on, Ryan takes about 50 pills that help his body in different ways. Some prevent diseases, others help refuel energy. Here's the full list of pills he takes. Most notably, metformin and spermidine. These are quite famous and you will hear their names often when investigating this topic. Right after taking the pills, Brian used to drink a smoothie he called the Green Giant. Powder, spermidine, laminos, creatine, collagen peptides, cocoa flavanols, cinnamon. Wow, here we go, I can't wait. Mm. Whoa. That's really good. <laughs> this, that's actually amazing. Yeah. So you only have like one of these a day? One a day. This is the best drink I ever had. So usually like things that taste good are bad for you. Yeah. The most important thing is your organs are now very happy. Anyway, Brian's approach to anti-aging is changing all the time and adapting to new evidence. And so Brian's discontinued the green giant because apparently it didn't yield enough results. Brian is famous for saying, Every calorie has to fight for its life. If his health markers don't improve noticeably, then it gets kicked out of the program. Before working out, Brian preps his food for the day and puts on a helmet that shines red light on Brian's skull. I've been losing my hair in my early 30s. It's been a difficult thing. I've had to work really hard to try to keep a head of hair. Red light therapy has been shown to reduce hair loss. Brian's workout takes 40 to 60 minutes to complete, and he does this exact routine every day. It consists of 21 different exercises that include strength exercises, stretching exercises and hit exercises that rapidly have blood flushing through his body, working out his heart, lungs and oval artery and vein health. After finishing the workouts, Brian enjoys his breakfast called Super Veggie. Super Veggie consists of black lentils, cauliflower, broccoli, mushrooms, garlic, ginger, lime, cumin, apple cider vinegar, hemp seeds, extra virgin olive oil and 100% dark chocolate. Here's the recipe with very precise cooking instructions if you want to try it yourself. Blend until smooth. Sometimes he blends everything into a green goo that makes it easier to eat fast because the unblended version takes him 35 minutes to eat. He measured it. So much for Brian Johnson. Now what about Dave Pesco? How did Dave maintain his body and every organ inside it so healthy that doctors measure his biological age to be 38? Compared to Brian Johnson, Dave spends only about thirty to forty thousand dollars every year on his health routine. You can find that number on this website. Most of that money goes to expensive health checkups like sequencing his genome or regular blood tests. You have to realize these longevity athletes aren't guessing what they should eat or how they should work out. They ask every one of their seventy-eight organs how it is feeling today and tend to everyone's needs accordingly. Dave eats meat, but other than that, both men focus on quality sleep, intense morning workouts, light therapy, around 100 magic pills and intermittent fasting. Dave, just like Brian, doesn't use an alarm. He wakes up whenever he wakes up but always before sunrise and doesn't let anything interrupt his sleep. Dave starts his morning by covering his body with a Bema body mat. This body mat electrically stimulates blood flow and helps the body to wake up quickly. 
Next, while still laying in bed, he stretches his back by bringing his knees to his chest, his chins to his forehead and his feet over his head. After finally getting out of bed, Dave takes 8 magic pills, 2 of which are prescription pills for thyroid hormone deficiencies. 2 are for telomere lengthening, the length of telomeres has long been linked to life expectancy. Put simply, if your telomeres are too short, you die. This one is for maintaining healthy testosterone levels, but be warned, Dave makes sure to explain that this supplement can increase the risk for cancer in some people. Mental or internal factors sometimes results in cells that do not die and continue to multiply until a mass of cancer... And the other three are for brain function, cellular energy and heart health respectively. After swallowing these pills, Dave likes listening to podcasts. He has a full list of his podcast subscriptions listed on his website. Unsurprisingly, most of his favorite channels discuss health topics like this channel. I have to break through the ice on it. This is a Morozco Forge. This bad boy will maintain about 33 degrees break through the ice temperature, even when it's 110 degrees outside. While listening so, to his podcast, he starts working on his balance okay, so by jumping up and down a mini trampoline. Sounds funny, but many professional athletes do this. Next up is the foam roller. The foam roller relieves tension from his fascias and muscles. He does this for about 15 minutes. After the foam roller, Dave likes to lay down on an inversion table at an angle with the feet up in the air and his head down. Not more than 5 minutes. This allows his spine to decompress. However, be aware that this is not for everyone, because the blood flowing from your legs to your head can be risky if you have eye problems or heart disease. Moving on, Dave takes measurements weighing himself and checking his sleep score on fitness trackers such as Garmin, Ura, Whoop or 8sleep. At this point at least one hour has passed since Dave woke up. This is when he continues munching on magic pills, bioregulators, proteolytic enzymes, qualia, collagen peptides, probiotics and whole food vitamins. He mixes all that with a homebrewn lemon tea and drinks the mixture. Dave always explains what they are used for and their potential risks, which I really have to applaud. Not everyone does this. After the magic pills, Dave continues with red light therapy. He links the devices he uses. This one sets you back between $10,000 and $12,000. He uses this device for 20 minutes before sunrise. Just like Brian Johnson, Dave does this to improve skin recovery and for skin cancer prevention. Moving on, Dave begins an intense workout consisting of an indoor bike sprint, some light outdoor cardio walk, outside or inside depending on the weather, and two ancient workout programs from the 2000s that used to be on TV or sold on DVDs, called P90X and Tap Out XD. Sometimes he completes them in one go, sometimes performed piecemeal throughout the day and exercise snacks. Throughout the workout he drinks a supplement shake containing almond milk, whey protein, extra virgin olive oil and 21 supplements that mostly improve muscle function. After his workout session, Dave jumps into his infrared sauna for an immune system boost and meditates for 25 to 45 minutes. When he is done, he injects peptides into his body. Peptides are a combination of amino acids, which are the building blocks of everything in the human body. Dave's morning routine ends with a breakfast of one green banana served with four heaping serving spoons of a chia nut berry bowl with additional unsweetened almond milk. Following this routine, Dave has maintained his body at an age of 38. This is a whopping 23 years younger than his real age. This earns him spot 6 on the rejuvenation olympics table. Brian is at spot 7 with a biological age of 41. 
Brian's body is only 5 years younger than his real age, and this is why he is losing this battle for now. In Brian's defense, he only started getting into anti-aging 3 years ago, and before that lived a very stressful life as a tech CEO, building a startup and going through a divorce. Dave, on the other hand, has always lived quite healthily and got seriously into anti-aging 10 years ago. But what can a regular person like you and I do? Not everyone has a sauna or a $10,000 red light device standing around their house or the time to study and order all these different supplements. Here's a slimmed down list of what a regular person can learn from these two gentlemen. Cutting edge science is shuffling the cards for everyone again. If you are lucky, you might be handed a new deck. It was a pleasure to be your host. You have been watching Blue Forest.